Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming, I'm Brianna White and today I'm going to be sharing some more SRG Con content. Now I'm really excited about today's episode because it's about a game that I love and that I've probably put the most hours into of any game I've ever played, Final Fantasy XIV. Now Final Fantasy XIV is an MMORPG if you haven't heard of it before and there's so much content, I mean it really is. A whole world. There's lots of content for new players and there's also lots of content for players who've played the game for a really long time and really like a challenge. And so I wanted to focus on the later half of that because our community has a lot of Final Fantasy 14 players that have been playing for a really long time. And so this panel is called Demystifying Final Fantasy 14 Difficulty. We have gotten some true experts of the game to join us that I'm sure you're familiar with. We have Curious Joy, Ms. Tech and Mr. Happy. I am so fortunate that they were all able to join us for this panel. It was a really, really awesome conversation and I just had the most fun. All of these people have like the best personalities. So I can't wait to share this panel with you all. Um, I hope you enjoy it. So please remember to like the video before you begin and we'll get on to that. It's not a gameplay, but we'll get on to the panel. Enjoy. We have this amazing panel, Demystifying Final Fantasy XIV Difficulty. What does that mean? We're going to just be breaking it down. Um, we have some experts here today that are well known in the Final Fantasy community for just being really awesome at the game. And I thought this is going to be perfect because all of these wonderful, amazing guests can help figure out what, what difficulty really means in Final Fantasy XIV. So I'm going to start with introductions, even though I am 90% sure that all of you already know these, these people already. Uh, I'd like to start with the wonderful Curious Joy. Hello. Hello. Welcome in. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I always appreciate it. Now, we first met at E3 in 2019. Yes. At the Square Enix press conference which is the first day I was introduced to Final Fantasy. Well, I like I knew about 14, but right after that uh that conference, I went and downloaded it. So it was like the day we met was the day I started playing. <laughs> it was it was a fateful encounter, wasn't it? Yeah. And now here we are all these years later. The world has changed. Final Fantasy 14 is mostly the same. I think so. A couple new expansions in there. A <laughs> couple tears later, it's fine. <laughs> Um, wonderful, wonderful. Mr. Happy, welcome in. Thank you for being here. That's you. That's you. <laughs> okay. Just making sure. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, good. I'm looking forward to it as well. I'm so glad you're here. We met at, was it TwitchCon or PAX East? I want to say TwitchCon. It was Pretty TwitchCon. Sure. Pretty sure. In 2019, it would have been, because that was the last TwitchCon, the most recent. Yeah. And we met at a Save the Children charity brunch, right? Yes. Yeah. And um, funny thing about that, because we, you introduced yourself and we spoke for about 15 minutes, but afterwards, someone else who was at the brunch went, what did she say to you? And I was like, what, huh? It's just like, she's Aerith. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should have really known that. <laughs> Well, I don't walk up and introduce myself as the voice actress of Aerith. I just go, hi, I'm Brianna. I wanted to talk to you because I've watched your guides. It's yeah. okay, Happy. I know how that feels. <laughs> the same thing to her. <laughs> it's true. Um, but I just, I distinctly remember from that conversation being like, you know, I, I watch all your guides and I just tried taking on, at the time, I think it was, Ooh, what would it have been? I had just tried, I think, a savage fight for the first time. And I was talking with you about it. And then you brought up the most difficult fight in the game and all the chaos that erupts. Which one was that? Do you remember? It would have had to have been unending coil at the time, probably. Maybe. Yeah, T was T around? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't I'd have to remember the exact day, but it was it was an ultimate encounter. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember just being like, wow, this guy's in a different league. <laughs> like truly is the, they can't even handle like hearing about all these mechanics going off at the same time. Um, I just play games. Don't embarrass me. No, no, no. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll move on. Um, Ms. Tech. You're Hello. such a gem. 
<laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Um, I cannot believe that you're here because it's so odd to me because I also watch your dun- dungeon guides. In fact, um, that's like pretty much how I know you. And I'm kind of surprised that in my head playing right now is my name is Miss Tech and I'll be your dungeon <laughs> guide. That's yeah. playing in my head right now. I feel like I need to count, like sit back and count just how many times I've said that, or at least put like all of the videos together, just so you can hear the intro sounding exactly the same for all of them. It's, it's amazing times. because it's like, it's, this is a repetition that like you fall in love with it a little bit. So I'm, I'm very impressed with you always. You have something in common with the SRG community that I don't know if you know. Really? Yeah. What's that? We here at SRG really love puns. Oh yes. <laughs> Amazing. I have found my people. <laughs> yes. Yes. Everyone awesome. here. There's not a single person in SRG who doesn't love a good pun. That's good. Right. I think everyone loves a pun, even That's if they right. say they don't. Yes. So Ms. Tech, I have to, I have to say you do have the punniest guide. <laughs> thank you. So thank you for I try, your you know. contribution to, to pun lore. <laughs> So I am so excited to have you all here. Truly. Um, I look up to you all as final fantasy 14 streamers, especially because final fantasy 14 for me is a game. I personally don't stream. Um, I like to play it on my own time. It's always kind of been like a comfort game for me. It's kind of been a game that I can just disappear into. And it feels, um, it feels like that for me, but for you all, it's a very, like, it's a very public experience. Like, you know, you're, you're, you're in the industry is like, you're, you're the, you're up there. If people look at you as icons, what is that like? I don't know. You tell us. (laughs) I prefer the term primal. Um, Um, well, thank you all for being here. Here's what we're going to talk about today. Today, we're going to talk about the concept of final fantasy 14 difficulty. I know a lot of people when they first get into the game, they've got their little sprouts on their heads. And they get into these, you know, these first few dungeons. And then um, after just a few, usually they become completely addicted to the game. And that just never ends, does it? We all relate to that. Mm -hmm. And the game eventually just gets more and more difficult. (laughs) And then usually it reaches a moment where we go, hmm, maybe that was too challenging. (laughs) Am I still having fun? (laughs) Do you all, have you all experienced this? Have you all had this moment? I mean, knowing how good you are, has have there ever been moments where you've been like, mm, maybe that's too hard for me right now. I don't want to take that on. Every day I play. <laughs> <laughs> There's always something. It might be like something small, but yeah. It's a, it's a lot of game too. Mm-hmm. I mean, especially like, it's not just the battles, right? Like it's also um, like, for example, Some people are really good at the battles. Fabulous. They're fabulous at Savage content. But then there's like the jumping puzzles. Oh, God. Yeah. (laughs) Don't even bring that up. Get me out. I I have my friend I'm married to in the game. And like, they like doing the jumping puzzles. And so I was like, yeah, you go up there. You just teleport with the ring. Teleport. I was like, my friend, I was like, come on, Lola, just go to the top of Kugane Tower, please. Save it's me. too hard it's yeah i still haven't hard. gotten up there it's hard that time and, when and they had like this you, you have it and then you just fall oh, and yes. it's just devastating yeah ultimate ninja warrior i miss that i want that back <laughs> final fantasy 14 ninja warrior we had it i want it back but we can fly now <laughs> so they have to move it oh <laughs> what do you mean they had it was it they, like halloween or something i think no it was summer that. oh it was, okay yeah, they had a summer event where there was a, just a, a, a jump puzzle where you just like a massive one in the middle of Costa del Sol. When was this? 2017? 2018? Really? I missed in that the before times. <laughs> before times, yeah. Now we can fly, so it's like they can't put it there even if they want to do it or if they have to like shut flying off when you're around it or something. Oh, yeah. Huh. I want it back. Honor system, I guess. No. Oh. <laughs> there's right. no honor, no honor. <laughs> <laughs> even Love without that. flying you can uh, kill yourself as a blue mage and have someone res you not that i did that oh <laughs> see we're already getting the pr- the true yeah. pro strats jumping 
jumping puzzles are just not my forte. Definitely not. <laughs> okay. So then we have difficult content, but then even within the game, there's so many different jobs. And I know that some jobs can feel more difficult to take on than others. Um, some of them definitely feel super, super easy, natural, intuitive, and some of them, they take some work. Um, that's what striking dummies I imagine were invented for, right? So what we're going to be doing today with you all in the chat, with all of your input, since you're all amazing Final Fantasy 14 players as well, we're going to be building a tier list of job difficulties. Now, this is not meant to be a definitive list, anything like that. We're just here to, to help some new players. I know. I'm sorry. I have to, I have to put a disclaimer out there because <laughs> these SRGers like to hold me to my word. Um, we're, we're going to be building a difficulty tier list that, um, any new players can reference and see, Hmm, I actually would like to try that out. So should we begin? Take us Let's away. Do it. Okay. So how should we do this? Do we want to start with the tanks and then just go down the list? Roll by roll, I think, is probably a good idea. Roll by roll. Fantastic. Okay. So we're going to start. Love that you have crafters and gatherers on the list. <laughs> Do we have to rank those two? <laughs> I, I don't. I think that that can't be changed. So we don't have to worry about the crafters and gatherers. Because if we were to do that. Our, well, okay. I'm going to be honest. Please don't be mad. My Final Fantasy 14 role models are here. And I just can't um, disappoint you all. I've never crafted or gathered. I'm more proud of you than disappointed. Yeah, that's that's fine. I, I didn't start crafting. Like, I couldn't repair my own gear until, like, I want to say the beginning of Shadowbringers or, like, maybe halfway through Shadowbringers. So don't worry. Even some of us don't like crafting. In Shadowbringers, I paid someone to make every item I could turn in to level all my crafters. So that's I how I got mine. To craft <laughs> any, go, I, really? I crafted not a single item at the beginning really? of Shadowbringers, and I leveled all of them. How yeah, one work? of my one of my friends says like loves doing all that stuff, and um, they're like, just get it up to level fifty, and then you can start doing leave turn ins, and then I will make enough so you to get your leave turn ins, and then you can level up to the level ninety or eighty or whatever. I was like, okay. <laughs> So then is there even any sort of like challenge involved in learning a crafter? There is. It's pretty complicated, I would say. It's like, really? like some of the crafting things I like to say are more complicated than rating because <laughs> it's just crazy. But um, they made it a little bit easier last expansion with the firmament. It made leveling it easier. But like the end game crafting stuff, I, I don't even bother with. It's too too much for me. Dang, I had no idea. See, yeah, like we were just like, saying, there's a whole world inside this game. Yeah. <laughs> there's Ch tools chat to do the, macros. Yeah. Yeah. Joy. Yeah. Yeah. The macros that you can do. I just actually, this expansion was the first time I learned how to make my own macro. So I was like, well, I have the item level and everything. I was like, I don't want to do anything. So you just set it all up and then you just paste it <laughs> in there. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, I can make raid food and make money. <laughs> it's fine. This is blowing my mind right now. I have played this game for too long and I have not even leveled a single, I don't think I've even accepted the quest for a single crap. I have no idea how the <laughs> system works at all. I one up you. My main, I have never unlocked the aesthetician. What, what is that? Oh, I, the hair the the change here. <laughs> there is still a blue exclamation mark in the middle of Limsa Lamitz's adventure guild all I these forgot years later. that was a quest you had to <laughs> unlock. But that you said that's yeah. an alt, right? No, that's my main. That's oh, my your main. Okay. I've had since 2010. Oh, dang. <laughs> that's amazing. And you've just been like obsessed with the look forever? Or have you Fantasia'd? Uh, my girlfriend made my character, so I just don't change it. She designed, you she like. You don't care how your character looks? Well, she made it. So that's, I mean, I, I approved it. I gave him oh, sideburns. Okay. I gave him the sideburns. That was it. I contributed <laughs> the sideburns. And I was okay. like. Wow. We're really I'm getting done. deep in here. All right. Just because it came up to me. Do we, do we talk about how many hours we've put into the game? I don't want to do that. Here, let's see. Slash, what is it? Playtime? <laughs> I kind of want to feel, are you on right now? Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, amazing. So I have a friend that's like over a thousand days, but I'm only at 398 days, seven hours and eight minutes. So could be oh, worse. It's in days. 
Yeah. I wonder how many mine would be in days. I think I have it on hours because I have it through Steam. Mm. Oh, yeah. I yeah. guess Steam would show you hours, right? I, I don't remember if 1.0 time counts because I have oh. I have before a Realm Reborn too. So that's true. I, I think in Walker screwed up my time because I had to stay logged in to play at night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I was just like, would walk by my computer and jump, <laughs> walk away. So I was like, my time is screwed up now. It's not real. Yeah, but it is though, because that was still your whole energy and attention every 15 minutes jumping in the game. <laughs> so it counts. 765 right, yeah, yeah, days on this character, but I've got time on other characters too. Oh my gosh. All right. So everyone here is a little obsessed. That's why we're here. So roles, um, tanks. Let's talk about tanks. Um, who has everyone here leveled all of the tanks or just a few? Yes. All of them. All of them. Can I play them really well? No, but but we're familiar I have an idea. With them. <laughs> yeah. Joy, have you leveled them all as well? Yes. Great. Then we we can talk about this. Okay. So which would you say? Let's start. Let's start with the easiest tank. What's the easiest tank? Should we do like a three, two, one, and all scream out what we think is the easiest? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. On zero or okay, yeah, we'll do it on zero. Uh, on zero, sure. Yeah. Okay. Three, this two, is one, zero. Warrior. 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 Ah, okay. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, that's easy. <laughs> we weren't copying just as she went early because we weren't ready. No, we weren't, I no, was already going to say warrior yeah. was the yeah. easiest. <laughs> All right. It was so, my last so, tank to level. I was like, why haven't I been playing this? <laughs> and it's just that easy? Yeah. It's pretty brainless. <laughs> Great. No, you can say it with confidence. You don't need to be hesitant. <laughs> it's fine. Be mean. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, great. So we hear good things about warrior being easy. Then we have to, we're going to put that in the, what the green category. What letter is that? D we're going to put that in D. Does that seem fair? Brainless Based on difficulty. Yes. But if D means brainless, absolutely throwing warrior. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay. So anybody looking to start a tank, that's a great place to start. That's not where I started, but that's because I didn't want to level from level one. So I did dark Knight personally. Um, so what is that? <laughs> That's is that the next one. easiest? No, no, definitely not. <laughs> is Dark Knight the hardest? I, I think it Gunbreaker. depends on, yeah, I think yeah, Gunbreaker is actually the hardest. hardest. And Dark, 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 Knight's, <laughs> Dark Knight's just a tougher place to start than, okay. I would argue Dark Knight thing is I started easier there, than Paladin though. I can't with Paladin. Paladin it's is only- very strict. So to some people that yeah, is kind true. of like uh, a difficulty level because it's very unforgiving if you mess up. So what's more strict that or f- getting five weapon skills during blood weapon, which is, which is worse. Five of them. Yeah. It's well, not as hard now though, as it used yeah. to be. Though, so. Nowhere yeah, close thank to that. Goodness. I think I'm at three on average. Um, okay. So then that means gunbreaker in S, right? Definitely. I would now, say so, and yeah. And yeah. Paladin in A and then Dark Knight in B. Does that seem right? Yeah, they're interchangeable, I think. So they yeah, could probably be in the same spot. tier. Yeah. yeah. But I don't like, know Paladin if A or is, B is good. The reason, at least for Paladin for me, which makes it difficult, is that it has the two different phases. But I play on like the Hori commander thing. So I have like my buttons up and down from each other. So that makes me difficult because of how I choose to play. But like the tank itself, I don't think is that. Yeah, it's not a hard, hard rotation. It's just like you have to press X button at Y time or you're you've you've messed up completely. And you so might it as well sort just of start seems that maybe both Paladin and Dark Knight should go in category B. Yeah, I was gonna, I, I was just about that. to suggest yeah. that. Yeah. Great. And does Gunbreaker still feel like S tier difficulty or does it really belong in A? No, Gunbreaker is Gunbreaker's tedious, like yeah. after the start of the fight, because they literally can't do everything in the time they wish they could do it. So it's mm-hmm. just like a super long chain of skills. And if you have to move the boss or use like any ability that isn't an attack, it's the it's a disaster. It's 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 abhorrent. Fantastic. There's but the I added love it difficulty now. of like but having. I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> it causes me physical pl- pain <laughs> to play Gunbreaker because of how oh, complicated it is. Then it definitely belongs yeah. in S. Okay, great. So we did tanks. Nailed it. Fantastic. 
Okay, so next is healers. I have not played all the healers, but I've played most of them. Um, the only one I haven't done is Astrologian. So should we do three, two, one for easiest again? Easiest again. Oh, okay. I, I don't I don't think we're gonna have the same answer, but yeah, oh, I like the idea. we'll see. Okay. okay. Three, two, one, zero. Wait, wait. What did you say, Happy? Scholar. Really? I was, it was actually for me in between Scholar and White Mage. Scholar, Scholar so, has I, so many more buttons than White Mage. But it's so easy. <laughs> it's sure, so sure. strong. Like when, when things start going wrong on Scholar, I'm just like, okay. And on White Mage, I'm like, please stop. Please, please. I just <laughs> stop. I don't want to do it. I don't, I don't want to do it anymore. That's so opposite of how I feel. See with, and I haven't gotten scholar to max. I stopped leveling it at around 79, I think. And so I haven't gotten it to max, but the fairy makes it so that I don't have to pay him, pay attention as much in between, but then you have to be preventative. Whereas white mage, someone drops low and you can get them up so quickly. Mm-hmm. So, and you can, you can, you can be reactive in that way. I don't know. For me, I feel like white mage is easier. What does chat think? I, want to I feel know like white mage is going to be the more popular answer for easy. Cause, yeah. Cause I'm thinking of like, I've played all of these healers, like significant amount. So when I think scholar, I think I throw an X cog on the tank and mm-hmm. I stop caring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's definitely my favorite dungeon tank, uh, tank dungeon healer. Mm-hmm. Um, because well now like you can make them, everybody run faster and everything, but it's just, it's easier to do like your level roulettes with scholar than it would be with anything else. At least I think because you have the fairy with you. And mm-hmm. Stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it seems like a lot of people are saying white mage is the easiest. So I think the question is, does white mage go in the D category for brainless or does it go in the C category because it is a healer and healer is just more difficult. That's I think what I was C. thinking. Yeah. He's good. Okay. Shared brain cell. We all agree. Now the question is though, does scholar go right next to white mage and C, or does it get a little bit harder because you have to be preventative with it? Hmm. I'll be alone in saying I would put it in C. I have a feeling the consensus will not be that. Ooh, all of chat agreed that white mage is a C. How do we feel about scholar? What do you think, Joy? It can be a high C. Okay. Oh, I love high C. <laughs> I think C. that counts. I like, think that counts. We only have three categories. <laughs> I'm bad at counting. We only have five categories here. Okay. Scholar and C. We're doing it. Then we have okay. Astrologian. Astrologian? Ast- I don't know how. It- how do Astrologian. You Astrologian is a S. S. Great. Yeah, definitely. Astrologian, S. which I've never played, and Sage, which I have played. What do Sage we think? I would think is A. Um, a or, or high b only because yeah. you have there's just you have the preventive thing that you have to think about but the thing that holds you back is that you have to activate your crazia before you can do anything and it's annoying <laughs> I, I do find that annoying i was like oh my god there's a cast bar and like i'm beating the cast bar i'm like wait hold on everybody <laughs> like, i gotta do my eucrasia um but besides that, like getting used to uh, Sage is not that bad because you can just do everything like um, off your GCD to get mana and everything. But it is you do have to think more than you would with Scholar, I think. Yeah, yeah, I, I would definitely agree, because for me, l- the process of learning Sage has been a lot harder than learning the other healers. I, it, to me, it feels like a lot more busy work. Um when when we're in dungeons but yeah i don't know if i'd put it at s that doesn't feel right right no i their tools are really easy to use but understanding how to use them all is a little more complicated like yeah i mean you have to yeah. really be aware of which ones are going to give you mana and which ones are not yeah it's also just mo- a pro sage will just tell you like one or two of the skills is OP and that's enough. But <laughs> I mean, they had their tools are not as conventional. So hmm. yeah, I, yeah, I think, I think B, I would go B personally. I would go okay. B. Okay. Okay. Let's put it in B. Let's do Sage and B. 
-hmm. Then Astrologian, what are we thinking? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so annoying. To play. Really hard. Really. <laughs> it's so annoying to play. It's just, really? Have you, have you ever like, have you ever seen like a pro I'll use a card analogy. Ever seen like, like a, like a poker dealer, like a pro like shuffle a deck. Yeah. It's like doing that, but you're also trying to not be killed by a dragon. Essentially. <laughs> I beat my first ultimate on Astro. And then I redid that ultimate on stage. I was like, why did I do Astro? I don't understand. I was like, I was dealing cards while dodging Ifrit slides. And I was like, no, 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 no. Why was I doing any of this? This is too much work. But I do love it because I'm a tedious job lover, which is why the two of my the job I love is Anis. Huh. Yeah, I, I'm seeing that. <laughs> Gunbreaker and Astro. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's move on. We got a lot of DPS to get to. Okay. Let's start with our melee DPS. Let's go with Monk. Have we all played it? Yes. I haven't really played I much played of the Pugilist. new Monk. <laughs> I played <Okay>. Pugilist. <laughs> I liked Monk before they changed Monk before they in Walker Monk because it was tedious. <laughs> Okay. You mean a five point so four Shadowbringers monk? Yeah, yeah, the one where you had to keep your grease lightning up and everything like that. Like I liked having something to do. I think it's because I zone, I zone out a lot, so mm. I need something to keep me focused. So if I'm like playing a job, there's like one thing that I'll tunnel tunnel vision more. So it's just you like, live for the challenge, is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> there's a reason you're here. Okay. <laughs> um. So then, what are we thinking with current monk? We gotta say. It really, this, this one's tough because Monk is much like with, we described with Paladin, it's very strict. If you, if you swerve away, then getting back to exactly where you want to be and exactly when you want to be there, it's, there's brain power involved. Not to mention okay. the openers and reopeners are, uh, they're, they're busy and they're very unconventional, especially if it's harder if you played monk before than if you've mm. never played monk before, because all of your common sense just out the window. Chat is saying B. Do we still have the strict uh, positionals where it's like you have to know like, the positionals? The, okay. No, there's only two and they're both really easy. So it's just the order of your weapon skills and timing them. I think with the positionals taken away. It's going to be pr probably B, but if you're doing savage content, trying to optimize it, it'll probably be A, because it's just really annoying to do properly every single time. Then let's go time. B for now, and if yeah. we have to move it, we will. Because we're getting mostly Bs in the chat. Okay, Dragoon. I say C. Yeah. Dragoon is really on, it, this is two five-part combos, like, just alternates between them and they just mm -hmm. hit they have to hit ogcds like they have a lot of off global skills um timing life of the oh, dragon yeah. can be is really the only tedium they have and that was made a little easier but i think okay. any any player picking it up probably will feel good about picking it up and playing it with if they're even without mastering it solid let's go see then i like it then that brings us to ninja I haven't played it since they changed it. Again, they changed it. Uh, and maybe we have to I lean more on chat? The or memory Troy, have game, you played it? The memory game of Ninja could up the difficulty so you don't bunny. I think this one depends on who you ask. Because if you ask me, I would say S plus 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 plus. I literally <laughs> don't remember any of the combos. I do the like, same one every time. Memorizing that, like, <laughs> I don't know. To me, that's that's insane. And they all have like similar names, so I can't even like visually. Ninja. And they just said it's the easiest melee. Easiest so melee. <laughs> I, I feel like it, it maybe just, it depends who you ask. It's, it's, the thing is they just changed it and I haven't played it since they changed. All the, the change, all they do is you swap two skills, but it's, it's had so many like tiny revisions since it came out. It's, I don't know. I, I what if we just put it in S. the middle? The average of all of us. <laughs> what is that yeah i think, I think that's, that's i think that's a if yeah, you I average out a. like you know not too difficult well someone did say easiest so if you average out the easiest which is d with what mistech said which is s plus 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 <laughs> then i think it should land in a i think a because it's like you have a lot to uh, remember and you'd be able to do all the different ninjutsu stuff 
Okay. Um, yeah. Could I think be I, a difficult thing. So yeah, I think especially to a new player, the intimidation, like mm -hmm. when you don't have that kind of, you've been playing the game for years, I think there is a higher intimidation factor than someone who's played for years on end. I mean, okay. if you have to sit down and like study to play a class, I feel like that deserves it a little. Deserves <laughs> at least an A, at least. <laughs> okay, great. Samurai. C? Now, I'm thinking Samurai, C, yeah. I don't know a lot about. However, I do know that there's two different ways to play Samurai or something. It's, oh, speed samurai and crit samurai. You don't see yes. that many. You don't see that many people diverge from crit I feel samurai like if as much anymore. You have to learn that about a job. It's pretty difficult. Yeah, but samurai. So especially after what they just did, getting rid of kaitan, um, it's it's really just spam, like between hmm. weapon skills. And other than that, it's really not too bad. They they did a lot of good for samurai. Does it That's still have weird. like the stickers? In, in yeah, I was about to ask that too. So, like, it, so it has it has the stickers, but Mekio gives you the buff that so you, you get like a buff on the way to the sticker. Now Mekio, you just get the buff when you get the sticker. So it's like it's it's like way less thinking than it used to be. Yeah, so yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's got a lot of button bloat. So it does. That's why I played it. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna put it in C. I feel, or, I feel sorry, B. Wait, no, it is wait, yeah, B. Right? Right in the middle there? It is harder than Dragoon. Yeah, I think that that merit right. alone. That fits. Okay. So what about Reaper? How do we feel about Reaper? It's either C or D. I, I, I don't really know which. C or D. <laughs> it's really easy. <laughs> it's really, really easy. Okay. If you've I mean, never if played Melee, play it. If it's brain dead. I mean, that's how we've defined D at this point. Then let's just drop it in there. Yeah, because a lot like, of people are saying Reaper is D. Yeah, there's there's only one part that's kind of tough. But if you never learned that and you just played it anyway, you'd be mostly fine. Great. Let's move on then. All right. We have a few more to get to. Bard. OK, I'm a Bard main. OK, well, then I have some <laughs> questions for you. Ask away. Bard sucks. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I don't think that's a question. That's yeah, oh, sorry, you're right. Bard sucks. <laughs> when I when I got Omni, Omni, when I got Omni 80 on my character, I like got Bard to 30 and I was like, I just want to play music. And I was like, dang it, I'm so close to Omni 80. Mog station. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to play this class ever. <laughs> yeah. So um I picked up Bard and made the mistake of making Bard my retainer because back when I started the game, um, I was a black mage main and I wanted to have raging strikes when you had cross-class abilities. So I made my retainer a Bard. Now I only level Bard so I can level my retainer. Can I change my retainer? Yes. Will I ever? Probably not. So here's the thing about Bard. It's so many buttons a lot of buttons. and you have to they are all like up all the time i mean you really have to have a like five to ten second countdown in your head constantly going of this button's up now 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 this button's up i like that actually it's crazy I still haven't heard the question <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong um i think my question is what's wrong with you um, I'm joking, of course. Um, okay. So difficulty specifically, like, I agree that it's just a press the buttons that are up on the screen kind of class. As long as you have a song up, you're most, you're okay. Okay. It's, if you get it wrong, you pay very dearly at max level for, but for the for most part, we haven't been talking about people who are playing these classes at the tippity tippity top of their skill level. Right. We've been talking about like for the average players. Right? Yeah. And it's, and it feels terrible as an average player too, if you get it wrong. So the big thing with their songs is that there's not a lot of leeway to mess them up at any point. Cause yeah. that's really just press a button every, you know, 30 to 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. It's fairly simple, but you're stuck. As soon as you make a mistake, the only way to course correct is to not sing your next song. Yes. And it's the worst feeling in the world. It is. If you press a wrong button, you're doomed. 
as long as it's not the, as long as it's, there are some buttons you can press that you're like, it's fine that you press the wrong button, but there are some buttons that you, if you press them, you are doomed. So that being said, difficulty though. I difficulty think to play well as like, you know, generally well. Generally well, I think goes in, in A. I think if you're optimizing, it's, it's, it's probably still A, but I think even as a casual player, it's, you don't, you don't really feel as good for pressing some of those buttons. And then when you press them wrong, you feel even worse. Mm. Yeah, I, I would I would generally agree with A, with how I feel about it currently. And I, chat, yeah. chat is kind of A, B, or C. But we've been putting a lot in B. <laughs> and there's a lot of jobs that are belong in B, which is nice. That's a that's a good place to have. A lot I would of, agree a with you, mm-hmm. but I definitely feel like Bard is harder than Dark Knight, but is equally as hard as Sage for me. I think it belongs in A, but you're then in charge. Let's do now. A. It's not a definitive list. No one's you're judging us here. <laughs> you're in charge. And some some people in chat agree that it belongs in A. So we're going to do that. Machinist. I love this class, but I know it belongs in D. <laughs> so, you know, what's funny about that. People with who don't live in the West Coast of the United States might not agree with you there. Yeah. What? Because latency is a big concern with machinists. Oh, Very quick. I think it's I think it's super easy, but it's I really know easy. there's no dots. There's nothing. And all you have to do is remember to resemble, uh, reassemble. Wow. And then and I guess if you're doing well as machinists, <laughs> it doesn't actually mean you're doing well. It's just an easy class. So. <laughs> if you press every button that's available as it's available, even if it's in the wrong order, you're probably <laughs> doing OK. Sadly enough to say. Wow. That's it's like more so easy it. to play yeah. machinist. Well, it's because I, I mainly play like I either main tank or healer like those are my two favorite classes so like the last thing i want to do is think when i play a dps like in any sort of form of content and i just love i have a special place for machinists because um from my understanding they reconfigured it to bring some of edgar from final fantasy 7 stuff in it so i was just like i'm fine my seven, Fantasy six stuff um and so i was like well yeah of course i'm gonna like it because i love final fantasy 6 um but yeah, it's just, it's such an easy class. And I, if I don't have to worry about refreshing my dots, I will take it. Okay. The D it is. Sorry, so Jeff. Sorry, machinist. <laughs> um, no, I agree. I played it too. It's, I, it's yeah. It doesn't well, mean the glass is bad. Yeah, it's never heard it from bad. the experts. Well, I mean, yeah, it is also, is, is never mind. so <laughs> easy. It is, it's hard to find. Fizz, the only uh, reason, I'll give you context. Now. The only reason I'm living for this is because our community manager plays machinist when he's not playing white mage. And we have DPS offs all the time. And he plays machinist. And when he wins, it makes me happy to know that it's because his class is so easy. <laughs> it is true. reasonable enough. It's yeah. like yeah. you like, so. there's really no room for mistakes on machinist. Like, you, there's nothing to mess up. Like, oops, I forgot to bring out my little Iron Man. That's fine. Let me bring it out now. <laughs> my little Iron Man. <laughs> I'm calling it that from now on. <laughs> little Iron Man is really sweet. Okay. Um, we have to move on, unfortunately, from talking about how easy Machinist is. Um, Dancer is next. What do we also, think? Also in D tier. <laughs> Interesting. I actually noticed a lot of similarities between Dancer and Bard. It used to be a lot more like that, where it felt like everything was always up. They've done, especially with the most recent update, they've done a lot to just make it so every two minutes you do exactly the same thing. And you are just, you are set. There's much less thinking than there used to be. Is it though? So here's the thing. There's difficulty as far as knowing what to do. And then there's the difficulty of pressing all the buttons. And there, those are, there are those two different things. With Dancer, there's constantly different procs coming up. And don't you have to still match like the colors and stuff for Dancer? Or did they change that too? It's just the they dance still order. Just colors, during the yeah. dance. Yeah. yeah. You just do. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> it. Wow. Did you actually do the that performance was, capture for the was, dancer in the game? Yeah. I don't remember the, oh no, wait, I, the other two, I think is like, this looked like a spin and I don't remember the last. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uncanny. Well, it's no, because one, because I used to literally just sit there and just do, there's the one animation where you're just like, 
<laughs> yes, oh, yes. Totally. I have totally. so many screenshots of that, though. Do that I for was like one 15 of these seconds. I was a dancer, so I was just sitting there in the trial, just like this. I was like, I love this. <laughs> Okay, so it generally seems like most people are kind of agreeing that dancer belongs in the easy category. Um, me personally, I would knock it up to a C because I don't know if all those procs is necessarily completely brain dead. But I'll go with I'll defer with what the group thinks. If if we did this before six point one, I'd I'd agree with you. But they made okay. it. They just like kind of eased it in this last patch so it, it just it it changes the dynamic a little bit okay and our two resident dancers actually our three resident dancers in the youtube chat right now are all saying just do it just put it in d you can put it in front of machinist though machinist yeah definitely way like harder than machinist i mean machinist is really easy <laughs> and there's a lot of people with I'm not sorry, great Jeff, with not great latency who might not agree is- Great. East okay, coasters moving are on. We're on to our casters. <laughs> Black Mage. S. <laughs> yeah, I think we I'm, all I'm going to say S. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to fight this because I've I played Black Mage for like eight months. <laughs> but yeah, it, right. it's it definitely. I think I think the consensus is definitely S. All right, let's do it. That was easy. Let's put it in S. That is the one S tier class that I actually play. Not for fun. I just level it because it was my main when I started. And I just, you guys have like loyalty to the one that you started with? No. 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 <laughs> really? You don't have like a special place in your heart for the job you started as? Really? No. I'm not allowed to. Maybe a little. Just... I don't. Wow. I, played, I really do. I played, I played in PvP Pugilist. now. So yeah, okay. I played that makes me love it. at 1.0 and it's just, I'm not allowed to love that. What job Lancer. did you all start the game as? Warrior, Lancer, Pugilist, or sorry, Marauder. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, when I started, there was no monk. So this happens to me so much when I use it. it it'll save it, but it happens to me all the time. The tier list uh, broke briefly. Okay. Uh, always happens to me with the site. Black Mage was easy. Summoner. What are we thinking? <laughs> D. <laughs> I know Summoner to be a lot did get a rework, right? Yeah. yeah, it got less less complicated. Less it's, complicated? I would say it got it infinitely just, more complicated or less complicated. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it got so much less complicated, it's more complicated because you want to try you're trying to like add loopholes to like try to make it seem more complicated. Than yeah, but you said like was, two sets of dots that had like different times. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I it had like what, like this. a 27 button opener, and now it's like but a shadow of you, you can add an f tier real quick if you want <laughs> just for some <laughs> it's really that easy yeah no yeah. listen if we were going to add an f tier machinist would be the first one no there. no <laughs> some summoner is so much easier than all right throw it in d then wow <laughs> not a lot of c or a but i think i think that's fair okay red mage please be nice <laughs> I mean, this isn't about being nice. This isn't a nice. No, it's not. It's not. After what we did to Machinist, if you were like Red Mage is as brain dead as it gets, I'd be like, okay, I give it a C. Uh, Yeah, Yeah. I would give it a C because you do have to like make sure your your ages are at the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do your what? Yeah, and you're not over capping. Yeah, yeah. But overall, Um, it's not too complicated. I would say no. It's really especially to pick up complicated no yeah especially when yeah just like you said when you first get it I mean it you're just like using the different but I know a lot of people have some difficulty understanding that you have to start with jolt and then save your dual cast for your long cast abilities some people don't necessarily pick that up right away yeah that's fair it's especially confusing because if they like watch somebody who knows how to play, you'll always actually start a fight with the long casts, which is even more confusing if you've never played the job for like, oh, they start every very counterintuitive. Yeah. So. But it's the only time you would long cast something on purpose. Yes. Yes, <laughs> precisely. Okay, great. So let's throw that in. What did we say? A, it's a super hard class. <laughs> No, <laughs> he said C. Okay, great. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, now we have Blue Mage on the screen, but I mean, 
Blue Mage is if you want to play Blue Mage yeah. well, that's that's an ass. You gotta go unlock all the spells and you gotta you gotta play it. I mean that's <laughs> You have to play it. <laughs> <laughs> but Blue Rage is awesome. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. But you so it could it. also be the hardest thing you've ever done because you have like the wrong loadout, or it could be the absolute easiest thing because you have like the perfect spells for something. Yes. So Blue Mage seems hard to put in a tier list like this. Blue Mage okay. opener is a lot of buttons. Yeah, that's true. Really? Yeah. I played tank blue mage, so I had it a little oh. bit easier. Yeah, but then you still had to use diamond back, and it's just like, yeah, I sure do love. Yeah, casting. it's not that bad though. Yeah, but it's so annoying. It's just give me an instant tank cooldown, please. Yeah, I just I... played it to get my jacket. <laughs> yeah, that's why everyone in SRG has done it as well as for the jacket. I get it. I haven't done it, but one day, I I have this dream of having all of the different colored mages max leveled. Because I have red mage and then I do white mage next. I started with black mage, and so then I want I want blue mage. But TMG, as we say, too many games, too little time. Oh, I feel that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So there it is. We did it. Oh, there's so many symbols still. I forgot. I forgot they were all classes and gatherers. And They're gather. all <laughs> the baby classes, the baby jobs. Yeah, like thaumaturge is on there, right there with conjurer. So no, ignore those. <laughs> um. That's our list. Do we do we feel looking at it now that any of them need to be adjusted? Because I'm feeling pretty good about them. Yeah, I like it. The F tier is still looking really good for Summoner. That's about <laughs> the only difference. <laughs> Other than that, no, no, I'm all content. Content. Awesome. Well, that was super fun. As our definitive, not definitive list. I like Based it. on difficulty to play. Based on difficulty yes. for new not players. On value certainly certainly not on value um because they're all valuable classes jobs right right uh, <laughs> right looking at machinists and <laughs> machinists alone. we might need that f tier again if we want to change the parameter <laughs> oh man okay so that was the job difficulties and the reason that we did that is because any new players wanting to hop into Final Fantasy 14, join the SRG FC. Here's an easy reference guide so that you can pick a class based on what challenge you want. Or if you're looking to level your next job, what you want to try next. I really do kind of want to try one of those S tiers. I don't know if I'm into tanking, but I might try to level Astrologian because I don't know what you're talking about with trying to dodge Ifrit cards. <laughs> No, it's dodging mechanics well with cards. It's like it's a three like a three step process. You have to draw a card, then you have to see what color card you got because depending on the color of the card that you got will determine on which class you give it to. And then once you do that, you have to then find them on the party list <laughs> to then click them oh. to then be like, "Here's your card." And then you deal the card while dodging mechanics. That is kind of wild. That sounds between, like between attacking, but yeah, mind you, between like attacking any of the other ones. Draw, it's, identify, play before you cast another spell, and then you do that three times in a matter of five seconds. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So that is our list, and I'm really excited about it. Now, knowing that, with that as our context, what would you say? And anybody can feel free to answer in, it's not really an order. I'm just asking you all kind of generally, what would you say to somebody if they were like, hmm, I'm really more of a casual player, but I'm trying to decide if I want to dip my toes into more difficult content. Just do just it. Do it. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, just do it. Okay. Stop thinking. We went Shia LaBeouf with it. I love it. <laughs> I think I mean, uh, a lot of new players will get into their own mind and like freak themselves out and assume that content is really difficult, but honestly, just doing something and just practicing and just understanding that it's totally okay to die, totally okay to make mistakes and learn from those mistakes. Um, that's the entire learning process that we all go through. Like you can see top tier raiders and I guarantee you that once upon a time, they were just as new brand new to the game as you know someone coming in today um and it's just you have to get over the fear and like the mental block that people put up for themselves and like just go ahead and do it don't let your dreams be memes <laughs> <laughs> 
so inspirational. I'm getting emotional, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then um, I guess one thing I should say is I know a lot of people that go in, they're like, oh, we got, we got to kill the boss. He's like, got to die. Like, I push all the buttons. Just, just do the mechanics first. See in rage first. Like, see the end of the fight because you can't kill the boss if you die from mechanics. And so a lot of people always focus on making sure they do the rotation right and doing all that stuff. But then it, at least in my opinion, it can slow things down because then if you're not getting used to the movement, because all of the raids, all of it is just a dance. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like I personally pick up on it because I was a figure skater for like 10 <laughs> years. So like I was always doing choreographed things. So memorizing choreogra uh, choreography is very fast for me. So it's like once I like learn the choreography of the raid, then I'm like, OK, now I can do that. And I feel like since I mainly play healer, healer when I raid. So I was like, if I die, you die. So I feel like I have to learn the mechanics faster than most people be to keep the raid alive. So it's just like just just do the mechanics first. And then eventually you'll get you'll get the you get the kill. Everything I'd like else to comes tell to SRG why that's such good advice. Um, I recently ran the extreme version of the N Walker trial with the SRG peeps. And, um, we we made it finally after a very long night to the enrage, which is for those of you who don't know, it's when the fight has gone on a certain amount of time, the boss does a mega cast and ends the raid before wipes the whole party. Um, and you have to defeat it before that moment. So we got to the enrage and I was like, great, we've seen all the mechanics. We celebrated. We were like, okay, now let's do it. We just got to get our DPS up. And then I, a red mage, decided that I was just going to focus on doing as much damage as possible and promptly died like five times to mechanics that I hadn't died in all night because I was suddenly focusing on the wrong thing. I still need to focus on staying alive. <laughs> so Gee. excellent advice there. Okay. I made the classic mistake. <laughs> can't it's DPS horrible. when you're dead. <laughs> you can't. Quite, quite literally seeing red. <laughs> quite literally, actually. Yes. Very dead. It was very sad. Um, okay. So then when players are like, all right, I've been encouraged to just do it. What do, what do they start with? What's some starting advice? What do they got to do? Extreme trial first. Start okay. there. Start with a recent one too. Don't go like, you could go back to like a level 51, I guess, but never feels good playing your job at level 50 after you made it to level 90. <laughs> it's just never a good idea. And just, I mean, other than that, the advice is pretty much the same. I mean, that's just your, your entry, your entry level. And then, you know, you beat that, try out the savage, beat the savages, try out the ultimate. Just got to hop in party finders or friends or go with friends or something like that. So what I'm hearing is start small and work your way up to more it's and more a, difficult yeah. content slowly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know I like for that. some reason last year, everyone just jumped straight to ultimate. But I think that was just because like the Final Fantasy community as a whole was celebrating certain streamers and stuff like, oh, my God, we're doing ultimate. So there are people like, I'm here to do an ultimate. And I've never done an EX. I'm like, huh? <laughs> I was like wait what really um but yeah it's like always just start start off with the with the easier stuff i got one very important piece of advice i'm Bring ready your food food and pasta <laughs> i knew it was coming i knew food it was coming. and well pots not so much but bring food and meld materia do the basics first definitely okay. enjoy some food because it's a lot more impactful than you might imagine since the game yeah, has great feedback on it. Okay. And just in case you're not familiar with Final Fantasy 14, they are talking about in-game. No, I mean in I mean, real IRL life. Too. Too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Both then my, my you as a human right. feed yourself because you'll feel better. And then you in the game. <laughs> yeah, the final Fantasy, I just bought that actually the other day. This this is my this is my prog stew. I make oh. this before every every single new raid comes out. I make it's exquisite fish stew. That. Wow, that's going to give you the mental energy you need for sure. Um, and then food in the game obviously gives you a little stat boost, which is nice. And then pots is short for potions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's which are tinctures know. now also. So it's a little yeah. more confusing. They're tinctures. At oh, this good. Point. They made it more confusing. Yeah. I Nobody feel... says tink. Nobody's like, get your, <laughs> pop your tinks. I would really <laughs> hope they didn't. 
Maybe you should really start glad that they don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not saying that ever. <laughs> Time to tinkle. Mm, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna say any of that. No. Nope. Well, see that I'll say just to be weird. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, get your tinkles ready. It's a tinkle time. Yeah, t- yeah. Everybody, tinkle time's coming tinkle up. Tinkle time. Tinks- tinkles are coming back up. <laughs> Another tinkle wow. window is happening. <laughs> wow. Buffs and tinkles. Um, the Final done. Fantasy fourteen community loves to get weird. Oh, I'm yeah. here for it. Oh, Excuse yeah. me. It. There's nothing weird. They're called tinctures. <laughs> Calling them tinctures is not weird. Yeah, but so, that's too many syllables. Speaking of weird, let's play a game, shall we? <laughs> Do you all have time to play a little game? I have mm-hmm. time to play all the games. Great. I'm excited. Okay, so here's the game. We're going to ask you a few questions. And because we're interactive here, um, we're going to ask the chat what they think the answer to the question is. And these are opinion based. They're not fact based. We're not we're not testing anybody on their knowledge here. These are opinion based, and um, the chat is going to guess on a poll in the Discord, and then you're going to have to guess what you think the chat will guess. Oh gosh! And if you get it right, you get a point. <laughs> okay. It's pretty simple, and I'm going to be keeping track. So, are our poll makers ready in the Discord? Just let me know in the chat. And the um, the polls are going to be dropped in the channel SRG Con. And we should probably put a pretty short timer on these. So everybody just kind of like be at attention because we don't have a ton of time. Um, maybe like a, a 60 second timer, maybe a what's a one and a half minute timer that. 90. 90, yeah. 90 seconds. Good job, me. Okay. The first question is, is this the first question? Let me just, yeah. Okay. The first question is, where is someone most likely to find true love? Is it Gridania, Olda, or Lim Silomensa? Gridania. Do we answer? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to wait for chat to give their answer. Okay. And then you are going to uh, oh, maybe um, should we have like writing utensils and you, or we could just say them out loud? Yeah, I'm ready. We're just going to say them out loud. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's make sure the chat is because um, I don't see it up in the SRG con channel yet. In the meantime, I want to figure out what my playtime is. I'm just, I'm just curious. Yeah, I'd have to log into every character and combine them all. And I really don't want to do that. I mean, that's a lot of work. You can't find that stuff out like in Lodestone at all? I don't think so. I mean, even then I'd still have to check every character because it wouldn't yeah. like track the whole account. Let's see. I can tell you how many days I've been subbed, which is forever. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Square Enix, they have our money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even when I took a break, I was like, yeah, just, uh, just take my money, it's fine. <laughs> I think my Final yeah. Fantasy 11 character still has more playtime though. Um Okay, so the poll is officially up and I'm going to wait for the results. And True it'll just love. pop into the chat when the results are there. Um yeah, so I just looked at my hours into days and I have 104 days. It's pretty tame with this group. Yeah, you're getting there. It's pretty tame with this. Still group. a decent amount, though. Yeah. It, it's still a decent amount. I mean, I've been playing since Heaven's Sword first came out, but I haven't played like consistently throughout that time. So, you know, I've subbed on and off until, of course, I created the SRG FC. And now, if I don't log on for 45 days, it like transfers ownership to somebody else. And it's a whole thing. So now, now that I have an FC, Square Enix really has my money. <laughs> Okay, so the question is, where is someone most likely to find true love? Vote in the SRG Con channel. Poll is two minutes long. I'm really excited to see what people think. And the the problem is true love is the thing that's getting me. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) True love is a very different. And well, I'll explain why when we get there. But 
love and true love are two very different things. It's two different answers in my head. <laughs> it's definitely two different answers. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're going to have to figure out what the SRG chat is voting on. So we'll see because it went up very recently. Is two minutes literally the shortest poll it can be? We still want people to vote though. Yeah. I so think two minutes is long until like I'm working out. <laughs> <laughs> oh like, yeah they're like 60 more seconds i was like no <laughs> okay we have the answer so what do you all think let's hear let's hear joy first what's your answer if i'm going with srg's thoughts mm -hmm. i'm just gonna go with limza <laughs> even though in my heart i know it's not limza but i'm gonna say it's limza okay I would, I would agree with that. Just it's, oh, it's, it's not the right answer. I'm telling you, all of you who voted on it, you're wrong. But that's not what the, that's not what we're talking about. Okay. Do you agree? Oh, it's Limsa. Okay. But I think it's more concrete than what Happy is saying. Okay. Well, you all get a point. <laughs> SRG voted. They were most likely to find true love in Limsa. If they're just looking for love, the answer would actually be Ulda, but true love is definitely one of the other two. Really? Yeah, Ulda is a reputation for love. Ulda? The quicksand? I mean, compared to oh. Limza? That's love yeah, but... of that's love of a kind at the very least. <laughs> but if you count how many people are in Limza at any one point in time, the there's chances of finding true going love. on there. There's a, lot of like there's a lot of people at the club. I don't think I'm going to find true love at the club. <laughs> you could. I would say for Gridania for like truest of love exactly, because all of yeah. the all of the events happen in Gridania. So like a majority of them, like the holiday ones. So it's like, oh, we both touched for the Easter hunt egg. <laughs> Gaius and Gaius and Allie were even in Gridania. And there's a, there's a father and daughter. Like that's a that's a that's love. It's just family, true okay. love. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we were talking about familial love, but yeah, but it's still love. <laughs> it's just it's, it's a type of love. It's all there. And that's very true. Okay, next question. You all get a point. Here's the next one. Who is the first scion to most likely refuse to return to the Waking Sands? Ishtola, Alize, or Thancred? That's a tougher one than the last one. Tola, Alice, or the fact Frank. that the thought my first thought is not even an option is yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> I was like, Estinian. I literally, we <laughs> that's so <laughs> true. No, he's, we're not I don't think he's ever been there. Period. No, he we're was not there. Make it easy oh, on yeah, you. he's there for, yeah, I remember. You're right. Once Ophelia calls and she says, Pray return. This is the first scion to be like, you know what, girl? No, you can't keep calling me here. I'm torn. Yeah, it's tough. I'm, I'm, I don't even know what I would say, honestly. I, I know who I would eliminate right off the bat. Yeah, Between me Ishtola, too. Alize, and Thancred, I know who I would eliminate right off the bat. Um, okay. Let's hear what everybody thinks. Let's give our answers. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. You I think, I think like it's Ishtola. The, the one that's like sassy enough to refuse, you know? I think Thinker would literally be the first one there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's uh, certainly eliminated. <laughs> that was the one that I eliminated immediately, too. <laughs> yeah. I know my man. <laughs> um. I love that we all have the same brain. Unfortunately, you have a different brain as SRG. Yeah. <laughs> they said Alize, didn't they? They said Alize. I feel like she's I just... feel like she changed, though, that she would have went. I think after Inwalker, she's changed her entire personality, became a team player, whereas Ystola hasn't. Interesting. Mm -hmm. has gotten more read on her character. She's got more I rebellious. <laughs> I mean, listen, we love a rebel, and we love Alize, <laughs> but she's... She's helpful incarnate. She's got deep in her soul wants to help the people of the world. So I don't know. Someone says there's something needs doing. Alize is there. Yeah. SRG disagrees. <laughs> I 
Okay. Sorry, no points, but that means you're all tied. Okay, <laughs> next one. Um, what Final Fantasy 14 job, if it was IRL, would most likely need unemployment benefits? Would it be bard, <laughs> machinist, or dancer? <laughs> <laughs> great that they're all range physical huh good thing we just did a list uh a whole list about the difficulty to play and okay we're gonna go with this because <laughs> like dragoon's not on the list i would have definitely put dragoon on there if it was on if it was on the list mm -hmm. why but a dragoon can pull dance they'll no, never be unemployed yeah but they're all yeah but they're always on the floor i suppose that's a point <laughs> they're always on the floor yeah floor tank it's not an employment i also feel like this is difficult because bard and dancer irl are similar they'd be working together yeah they would they would they'd have a traveling circus together mm, got i the mean music let, get dragoon in there and really they have they have a very entertaining circus i would go see that show for sure all the blue mages get out of a clown car <laughs> I don't want to be around a blue mage IRL if I'm being frank. <laughs> okay, what's it, what's your answer, is everyone? I gotta go, man. You know what? I do have I have an answer, and it's, unfortunately, it's rooted in too much realism. I'm going with Machinas. Okay. Joy. I'm gonna. I was gonna go with machinists too, but I feel like the SRG community would think dancer. Okay, Miss Tech. Uh, I'm gonna say Bard just to be different. <laughs> okay, all right. Same brain did not work out for us last time, and this time it did not work out for some of us. It is machinist. Oh, because I, I figured like machinist. bard and dancer have their 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 profession built ba like baked into their name. So unless they're a starving artist, yeah, but so I does suppose. machinist. Yeah, but machinist just has like I'm I have gun. Like people have that doesn't yeah, mean you're they employed. like reassemble machinery and stuff. Right? They have a little ma miniature Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. I I had questions about that it, as well. It breaks after <laughs> twenty seconds. You can't hold a job with that. That's kind of true. <laughs> It could punch. It's <laughs> yeah, it's a rough night for machinists. Sorry, y'all. Um, okay, next question. Mr. Happy, you currently lead with two points, but we're not far behind. Okay. The tribe that's most likely to pay back all those favors you did them. This is the beast tribe that is most likely to pay back all those favors for all those quests that you did. Would it be the pixies? The Kojin or the Vanu? I think this one might be easy. Just about how y'all think. Mm -hmm. This is going to be really dependent on whether someone watches MSQ cutscenes too. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're not watching them. They, should, they shouldn't be voting. Do you, you not watch the cutscenes? Well, I don't watch the Beast Tribe ones. I oh, no, like I mean, like, I watched... MSQ. Because oh, no, no. the Pixies yeah. have a lore within MSQ. That's true. Whereas I don't know if the other ones do so much. That's, mm, do they? I want to say they don't, but... They have enough. They, I'd say they have enough. Okay. But it's still, it's it's a toss-up. I'm, I'm very curious because this one... I, I have a really hard time with because I really don't don't I also don't watch the Beast Tribe quests, but I also like know them best through their MSQ cutscenes. I like I as soon as you said that the there's only one Beast Tribe I I can think of, but I feel like it's wrong. <laughs> hmm. A great debate. Okay. We got to an answer. What do we think? Pixies. Pixies. Pojin. Interesting. Okay. Pojin's so the right answer. Pixies. I'm going to be upset. <laughs> okay. Joy, what's your reasoning? I don't know. I just feel like, I think I have a scene in my head, 
where I just remember the turtle dude coming back and I was just like, yeah, he's coming. He's coming to, you know, help. <laughs> and I know like Pixies has the whole thing and like Shadowbringers is definitely like in everybody's brain, but they were literally just an in-walker, the Kojin, if I remember correctly. Yes, they, they yeah. were. Yeah. So that's all I was like, I swear it would be them. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I day. seem to remember the the leader of the Kojin to be very nice, mm-hmm. right? Very like impassioned about helping us in yeah. that one scene. So I probably also would have said Kojin. And um, Joy, you're correct. Oh, maybe I got, did I get the question? You said most likely to pay back with that. Yeah, most likely. Oh, I answered for least likely. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no Kojin would have definitely, yeah, no, that's yeah, definitely Yeah, because right the answer. pixies, I feel like, are very much just, they're very um, mercurial. They kind of just do what they want, what feels good to them. They're kind of impish, is my, is my vibe so yeah. good? Yeah. No, I answered I answered it backwards. Cogent's definitely the right answer. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Good job, Grace. Or uh, Joy, a point for you. Yeah. Okay. I knew it. I stuck with my gut. I was like, I swear that cutscene. <laughs> no, yeah. I was thinking of yeah, that cutscene too. Okay. Here's the next question. And this one, no fisticuffs. Okay. From anybody. No one here. No one in chat. No fisticuffs. The question is, whose fault is it? Tank, healer, or DPS? <laughs> oh, that's easy. <laughs> but you have to figure out <laughs> what SRG is going to vote. No, I already know the answer because I also raid with some of you guys too. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely raid with a tank, a healer, and a DPS. So yeah, you definitely. <laughs> oh, man. Now, here's the thing chat we're not naming names okay we're asking whose fault is it role wise we're not naming names i mean you're we not. have a, we have a few shenaniganizers that <laughs> like to try things we'll just call it that you're not but i think joy's ready to <laughs> I'll, i see some names in the chat <laughs> <laughs> The the poll isn't finished yet, but let's hear it. What do you guys think? Healer. Yeah. Healer. <laughs> healer. We're all gonna say healer. Yeah. Yeah. So how many times I've been blamed? I died. I didn't have enough health. I died because there wasn't enough healing. There wasn't any shields. There wasn't any this. I was like, or <gasps> or <laughs> you didn't do really? the mechanic. <laughs> really? I'm yes. I'm actually shocked by that. Healers are always blamed for everything. Yeah. yeah, healers adjust. Not doing yep. enough DPS, okay. healer, get on it. Not doing enough healing, healer, get on it. Tank died, healer, get on it. Okay. Well, unfortunately, SRG disagrees. <laughs> SRG blames the tank. SRG, that's because they're all healers and they're trying to pass the blame <laughs> off to the tank. That's a like, real heal. That's a real the tank healer has move such right an there. Easy job. They just point the boss away. <laughs> like that's all you have to do. That's why it's so offensive when they get it wrong (laughs) yeah i i mean we did a run the other day where a tank literally purposefully ran into a crowd just to drop a tank buster on all of us and i think that that is deep in our heads in our hearts with yeah see that that was fresh then yeah yeah, I saw funny. that happen in the near raid once. And too, I many like, heal, too many healers voted and I on walked this. Away <laughs> <laughs> Although everyone is saying this is the closest one so far. We got 14 votes for tank, but we got 12 votes for healer. Should have just voted machinists. Just keep nailing, <laughs> putting the nails in the coffin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is someone in the chat keeping track. I'm really bad at keeping track. I know Mr. Happy had two, right? And now Joy has two. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Miss Tech, got to catch up. You can do it. I believe. <laughs> okay. Which scion is most likely to be a successful influencer? Alphano, Ariange, or Grahatia? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> you, had an, you had it easy on one and two, and then three came in and it got a lot harder, huh? <laughs> I'm going to blame one person in SRG for my answer. 
Dost really? thou knowest the proper bit rate with which to stream at 1080p 60 fps? And she'll she'll know Actually, that that's going to be my answer. I don't know the proper bit rate. What is the proper bit rate? I'm having tech issues. Twitch Mac is out at six thousand, uh, so that's that's the answer. But what if that's not enough? You better you better ask them then, because I know that I remember they gave someone permission to do like thirty thousand bit rate. Like they just fed them like the the resources to do it. It was the crispest stream I've ever seen. Mm, I don't think Twitch likes me that much. I think some partners can get away with eight thousand. Probably, yeah. It's I don't think you, like if them. you do if you do like eight thousand and one, you won't be able to do ten eighty p streams. But if you do like solid eight thousand. If man, if Ishtola had been on that list, it would have been so easy. Oh, why? Why Ishtola actually? Because people like cat girls. It just would have been yeah. it. Everybody <laughs> loves cat. That's girls. why the answer is Graha. Yeah, it's cat Graha. Boy. Are you all gonna vote Graha or I'm Mr. Graha? Have a different one? And yeah. I blame Lynn for my answer. Yeah, I feel like it's irresponsible of me to say not Graha. Okay. Even though I, it was, it was. A hundred percent going to be Alpha No. Yeah, but, it was I mean, definitely going Alpha to be. Alpha No and Uriange. I mean, because <laughs> Uriange would though. stream like read like 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 book clubs, you know, like that's fine, but that's not you're not going to launch. It's it's you're not going to propel yourself off of a book. Club. I do feel like Uriange could find his niche. I do. I mean, unless unless it's Pyro playing Uriange, then it'll work. I don't know who that is. Uh, he's a he's a WoW lore streamer, but he's been doing 14 stuff. I see. Okay. Yeah, there's a niche for everybody, I believe. Anyways, so the answer is that that SRG thinks would be the best influencer by a landslide, Grahatia. Yeah. <laughs> Points for everybody. It was, it was obvious. <laughs> yeah, and you you had it right on the nose. It's the cat thing. Yeah. People love the cat people. I can't explain it. There's also okay. a lot of thirsty boys for Graha. Yes. There. There's a lot of thirst in general. Yeah. <laughs> we just had this conversation the other day. Listen, if you're going to play a game and you're going to come back month after month after month, all the characters have to be hot. That's just the way it goes. Yeah. And they know that they make them all great looking. Okay. Last question. And that'll bring us to a final total of seven. What is the greatest Final Fantasy 14 sin. Is it skipping cutscenes, overusing Fantasia, or is it level boosting? <laughs> this one's hard, huh? Not as hard as you might think. <laughs> this, the, uh, one of them's already out. It's like, there's no way that's a sin. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, the, between, it's between two other ones. But now I feel remember, like I know the you answer. Gotta, you got to know what SRG is going to pick. Oh, I think I know. Okay. <laughs> I feel I feel very confident right now. Okay. Those are those are that's big words. Okay. Confidence of, yeah, I guess it's Yeah, that, those like are big feelings. Nine letters. It's fine. Yeah, it's you know, Sorry. Words are hard. She does puns, I do dad jokes. It's <laughs> It's just like the step. we love them all here. It's like the sidestep of pun because like a dad <laughs> joke is very often a pun, but a pun isn't necessary. It's like a it's like a square and a rectangle. It's so true. Yeah, it's so true. Yeah, they're 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 both great shapes. We we accept all shapes here at SRG. All yeah. silly jokes. We're into it. OK. Chad is currently voting. What do you all think is the greatest Final Fantasy 14 since? Gotta be skipping cutscenes. Yeah. Cutscenes, cutscenes. Skipping cutscenes. Definitely. I think cutscenes. you can you can you can forgive some level boosting, especially if you like do it on side classes or something. Oh, and but what if you're level boosting and skipping cutscenes at the same time? I mean, that, oh, that, yeah. those things just, are hand in hand. A lot I of have the, the I and when I did that on my alt, I was like, I'm it. This is an alt, guys. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> I'm sorry that I'm a sprout and shadow bringer. So no, this is an alt. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you the most important detail nobody is going to vote for Fantasia because they're all buying it. They're not going to be like, yeah. yeah, this is a terrible sin. And then buy five of them. Glug, after glug, the glug, glug. Yeah. yeah glug. You shouldn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Valid reasoning. And you'd be correct. Yeah. SRG yes. believes skipping cutscenes is, is absolutely the worst sin of, of the three mentioned. 
Although someone did say muting the music. And I do think that would be a bigger sin. Mm. But if you skip the cutscene, then you're skipping the music in the cutscene. It's as true. Well. You're doing both. Yeah. yeah. But imagine, imagine running the Alliance raids with the music off. Oh, especially the new one. For the first time too. Oof, no way. Yeah, I'd say music the first time because after you do it the first time, I, I can understand. Like if you when you go through sure. Ultima Thule, if you want to turn the BGM off, I get it. I was literally just AFKing there yesterday. <laughs> Enjoying <laughs> the music. I was vibing with it. Seriously. Well, yeah, it was fine until yeah, the thing I I waited for him for so long. Yeah, I, I knew name. that was coming. What is uh, the name? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Key. It's, I spent about I seven minutes in that. total. Yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I just zoned in after they got found. I was like, okay, I'm done. Yeah, me too. All right. Little Chi. Congratulations. And thank you. That brings us to the end of our game and the end of our panel. We've even gone a little over time. So I'm sorry for keeping you, but this was just too good. It was good. It was, yeah, it was fun. fun. I so genuinely enjoyed having all of you here. Before you go, I would love for you all to have the opportunity to tell people where to find you. Uh, they already know you. You're, I mean, legends, each and every one of you. But I would love for you to um, let people know where they can join your community, hang out with you. I know you're all wonderful streamers. So please, Ms. Tech, would you like to start? Sure. You can find me almost every day of the week, either at Twitch, Twitter, or YouTube.com slash MTQ Capture. It's very easy to find me. I have the same name everywhere. Um, but yeah, I stream six days a week. And uh, right now I'm in the PvP rabbit hole. So if you're interested in learning a little bit about Final Fantasy 14 PvP, you can join me on my journey because I just started doing it. Uh, but yeah, I'll be I'll there. Be I've awesome. been trying to learn about it. <laughs> yeah. That's me. You're wonderful. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you the, for having the me. Climb the crystal tonight, Ms. Is that tonight? Uh, yeah, I, I just hit okay. platinum before this. So it congrats. Is. Thank you. I assume that's something congrats worthy. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Getting out of You're gold stuck. and silver. Yeah. That's... <laughs> All right. Mr. Happy, tell, tell the wonderful people of SRG where they can find you. You can find me, Mr. Happy One Two Two Seven. Just Google it. You'll just you'll. There's very. I doubt you'll find a, a different. I hope not. That would be real weird. Uh, also, PVP Rabbit Hole, but I'm focusing on guides right now. Um, I hit Crystal a few days ago, so now I'm just unraveling the science of it before Ultimate on Tuesday, because then PVP won't matter to me for a while. Yep. Nothing will matter to me except for <laughs> exquisite stew. beef stew. Yeah. <laughs> exquisite beef stew. Look, I might make two stews though. It's like, I got exquisite beef stew. I can make the sky builders do with some chicken thigh in there. Oh, yeah. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it's got carrots and potatoes and daikon <laughs> radish. And Maybe I'm going to make that. When SRG Con is over, I'll treat myself to no. cooking a nice Final Fantasy 14 meal. It only takes like an hour. It's so, it's oh, so my nice. gosh. It takes a whole hour? <laughs> oh, never mind. Sky builders stew takes three. So. Oh, no. I mean, the um, exquisite mm -hmm. beef stew is three. But it feeds you work. for so long. Mm, way too much work to i'm sure it's delicious days. but mm. they need to have like a delivery service for final fantasy 14 food that's the next april <laughs> Fool's Cafe show. somebody delivery. invent it it's gonna it's gonna be doordash it's gonna be like aorzia dash or something yeah Ooh. i mean they got pretty close with the like grubhub pizza emote thing didn't they mm -hmm. i don't know if we're gonna get better than that okay joy i Let the people uh, know where can they find you you can find me on Twitch and Twitter, mainly on Curious Joy. I haven't been streaming 14 months, but I've been tweeting about it every five seconds because I'm not streaming it so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I'm just playing through so many different story games right now because we had March video game launch apocalypse. So I've just been like going through all that. But I was like, I've also been playing a lot more 14 again after a much needed break after Inwalker because like staying logged in forever took a lot. And I was like, yeah, no, I need, I need to step away. But now I'm back and now I can't not log in anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I'm curious Relatable. joy everywhere. Yes, you are. You are a joy everywhere. Okay, thank you all so much for being here. I'm sorry we stayed so over. I really didn't realize the time. It really just flew by. I appreciate all of you so much. Thank you for so generously being here. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evenings. Enjoy SRG Con. Enjoy. Bye. Bye-bye. And that does bring us to the end of this SRG Con 2022 panel, Demystifying Final Fantasy XIV Difficulty. 
Did you have a good time? Did you have a good listen? I hope you did. I had such a great time making this content, meeting these people, and of course, I know I'm gonna have a good time reading all of your comments and hearing all of your opinions. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too, and of course, please remember to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. And trust me, I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but it's gonna be good. <laughs> That's all. I love you all. Bye!